That's a tough act to follow. On behalf of the Board of Regents, first I'd just like to uh, take a second and uh, thank Archbishop Velazny for being here with us today. He's uh, a great man that's so important to our university and to the community of uh, the Catholic community of this uh, diocese. Or I just would like to thank you for all you do for us and the great relationship we have with you as the university. It seems like just a short time ago we were crisscrossing uh, France uh, on our way to uh, Le Mans for the beatification of uh, Father Moreau. And I don't know what it was. It must have been maybe the French wine, uh, maybe Lourdes. I, I, uh, maybe Lourdes caused it, but Kathy and I were in a uh, some kind of warm and fuzzy mood. And we were in a hotel in Le Mans, and we went to Father Bill and Tom and Jim Lyons and, and indicated a, a wish of ours to do something at the university that was be something spiritual. We didn't know what it was. We had no clue. Maybe a rosary walk, maybe a Stations of the Cross. And little did we know in the uh, preceding years, uh, I think Father Ed Obermiller was part of that. I don't know. can't see him, but he's out there somewhere. And Jim and some others had, uh, had this bell tower idea in the bottom of somebody's desk drawer. And it wasn't getting much traction, so they seized the moment, and the next thing you know, our rosary walk or something down on the bluff all of a sudden turned into a bell tower. There again, it was uh, probably the wine. <laughs> but it seemed like a pretty good idea. And here we are today. Uh, it's become a reality. It's something we've been excited about, and, and I just... Uh, like to expound on, uh, in, the, in the beacon there was Father Tom said, uh, maybe this will be a place where, uh, he was quoted as saying, maybe this will be a place where someone comes on their first date. And I would like to take that a little farther. Maybe it'll be a place someday where someone proposes. And maybe it'll be a place where some young man decides a vocation to the priesthood might be his calling. Uh, anything can happen, you know. So we're very proud of this. I'd like to, uh, you know, we had the, it's been a great journey. We spent some time with Father Tom in uh, Holland, blessing the bells as they were poured. I'd like to thank a couple of people. Uh, Dan Danielson, the architect, I think he needs to be singled out here at this time. Dan, where are you? He's way back there in the back, but believe me, uh, I, set some, I had some time to sit here and uh, uh, Sunday before the dedication of fields and spend some time here. And to be honest with you, I got a little emotional, and then I run into Dan over in Fields Hall, and we both become emotional, because I know that not only is he the architect, but he had a lot of love and a lot of thought, and I think we've come up with a great, uh, I think he's come up with one of his best ever. I, I don't know how I could do anything better than this, but it's, it's, it's to me, met everything we all wanted. I'd like to thank uh, Father Bill, the officers, the regents, for uh, letting us do this. It uh, took a vote or two, and I know a lot of people, what the heck are they doing? And I'd, I'd really like to thank the Galati family. It must have been really tough when you found out that this sacred space you'd created was going to be torn up and you didn't know what was going to happen. And I think and I hope that you're happy with the results. I think it's uh, better than it was the day we started and I hope you're, I thank you for your, your uh, patience and your uh, trusting in us and uh, thank you for being here today. And. I'd also like to thank this choir. I've never heard anybody sing with bells. <laughs> <laughs> and they got it right. It was awesome. 
And last but not least, I'd like to thank my family who's here with us today. You know, it's not easy seeing your parents fritter away their <laughs> inheritance on a pile of bricks. I tend to do that a lot. And, and, and the one who really deserves all the credit, the great idea of this space was my wonderful wife, Kathy. I tried to get her to come up here with me, and she wouldn't do it. But you're, I'm going to make you stand. <laughs> So thanks again for all of you for being here with us today. Uh, whatever we're going to do next, let's go do it. <laughs>